gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take this as advice, use it, don't use it, it's all up to you. Now this is a question from people who are in the know, people who know about the fact that I don't drink alcohol anymore. About five years ago, I had my last sip of alcohol. It was in my birthday month, I had my champagne, and then I think I had a drink or two after that, and then I called it quits. So somebody asked me, how has it been since stopping with alcohol? So here's the thing, when I quit alcohol, there was no big event that happened to make me quit. There was no big night when I got drunk and I got turned up and then I decided Hor, I don't want alcohol anymore. You know you drink so much that your body is just in pain in other ways that you've never been in pain. And then you wake up you're just like I will never touch that thing again. That's not what happened. I just stopped. It was a decision that I had been trying to make for quite some time and my lifestyle just didn't really allow me to stop or I wasn't living a lifestyle that made it easier for me to stop. But then I wanted to change my life and I wanted to change a whole lot of things in my life and make it more positive. So I just stopped. There was no big event. There was no big bang. There's nothing that really convinced me. There's no huge transformational moment. I just stopped. So these are the things that have changed in my life since I stopped drinking alcohol. Number one, I realized how much of an idiot I was. I was stupid, I was dumb. <laughs> when I was drinking alcohol, I did a lot of stupid things. I became very, very insecure when I had alcohol in my body. Now I could take quite a bit of alcohol. I partied a lot and I drank quite a bit. Um, I was young, I was enjoying my life. I partied, I went clubbing. Um, I had friends that also partied quite a lot. So it was pretty usual for me. And it was okay. I didn't have a problem with alcohol. I just drank like a person who liked enjoying themselves, right? But then when I stopped drinking alcohol, I looked back on those moments and I was like, girl, what were you doing? There were so many dumb things that I did that I would never do in my sober mind. But you know when you alcohol, when you alcoholed up, it's different. Things look different, so you just do things differently. So yeah. I definitely realized that I become a different person when I am drunk up. But yeah, I'm happy that person, I, no. <laughs> the second thing that changed in my life, and it's such a good thing, is that I realized how much time there is on weekends. Now the thing about the way that I used to drink and go out, it, it wasn't always on the weekend. Sometimes I go out on Wednesdays, it's fine. But most of the time when you drink, you do it over the weekend. And when you don't drink and you wake up on a Saturday, you run out of sleep on a Saturday, you realize there's a lot of hours to this day and there's a lot of hours to the Saturday. I've got a better quality of weekend ever since I stopped drinking alcohol. Now, <laughs> to be honest with you, these are probably the two lighter reasons and they just get deeper after this. But honestly, there's a whole lot of more time on the weekend. And because of that, I've been able to do things that have literally altered my life forever. And number three, I learned how to deal with my emotions much better. So when I started really liking wine, for example, was when I had a full-time job and I come back from work and I would really need to de-stress and I'd have a glass of wine. And that's fine, a lot of people do that, but it relaxes you and it's really great, right? But I use that to help me de-stress in ways that I know now, now know how to do without needing alcohol. Having no alcohol in your system, having not having that Dutch courage anymore, literally makes you confront things much easier and more difficult. You find other ways and more natural ways to release. So when you're stressed, you don't have a glass of wine to de-stress. You find other ways to de-stress. And a lot of the times, the natural ways to de-stress give you more energy and give you a better feeling at the end. Alcohol, kind of always ends with a headache and an upset tummy, which for me, it's like it's a self-defeating thing. Number four, I've learned to think outside of the box. When you have alcohol as an option, a lot of the times when you want to go out and have fun, it always has to involve alcohol, right? That's the thing that, that gets the party started, but not when you don't have alcohol. It doesn't matter to you. So you start to realize that, oh my gosh, 
there is so much more to do with my time. There are so many other options for having fun. So your definition of fun expands and you're more creative because you actually don't really care if there's alcohol or not. But when the alcohol is in the picture and your definition of fun includes that alcohol, you start to think to yourself, what can I do and still include alcohol? That, okay, no, let's not do that because where am I going to get my drink at? It's not even in the picture. So you actually broaden your perspective in terms of what's fun. I've actually learned that I enjoy my own damn company, <laughs> which is very true. When I used to drink alcohol, I actually never used to sit by myself and enjoy my own company. But now I don't feel like I have to go out. I actually enjoy my own company, which is really good. I realized that Kopano is a really cool person to hang out with. Number five, and this is a true story. My mother once told me, Horekinali Puza face. My mother once looked at me and said, Ken Karona li Puza face. And I was just like, Puza face? What? No. Have you ever drank alcohol and you just feel like you're just, you're just like, everything is like tight and droopy and ugh. Alcohol does it too. It just makes you feel like, I don't know, I'm trying to find an English word for this. It's like your bultong. That's what happens to you when you just drink a lot of alcohol. You just feel like bultong. Like everything, they sucked out all of the juices and the, and the water out of you. And there's just not enough water for you to drink to feel better. And when you stop drinking alcohol, it's like they pump the water back into your system. And things just look plumper and there's elasticity in your skin and that's what makes you look younger. So cutting out the alcohol really did help with that thing. Number six, I learned how to be fun without alcohol. I actually learned I was fun without alcohol. You know drunk fun? Like you're a fun person when you're drunk. So <laughs> There's like a drunk cop I know used to come out and she was really fun. That was great. But I actually learned that I can be so much more fun without that. That I don't have to be the life of the party, life of the party number one. Because when I was drunk, I used to seek a lot of attention and validation. And like I said, I was super insecure when I was drunk. But when I stopped drinking and I started hanging out with people and going to places where other people were, were drinking, I didn't feel weird or I didn't feel like I was left out or I didn't feel like I was not having fun and that's what a lot of people think that if you stop drinking you're gonna stop being fun you're just gonna be that person that boring person in the party that nobody wants to hang out with because they're just like yawn because you're not drunk fun anymore and that's not the truth you actually I find that I'm more fun without alcohol because I say things that are actually more funnier and I actually have better conversations with people. It's actually more fun to be the sober person at the party because what happens is you live off your own energy and you start seeing everybody else fall tipsy. And it's, trust me, it's more fun watching somebody make an idiot out of themselves instead of you being the person being the idiot in the party. Number seven has to do with this figure right here. Do you know how much sugar and calories are in alcohol? Now, if I wanted to grow a booty, I would, I would drink, I would drink beer and somehow still try to keep a tight ass, a tight stomach so I can have a fat ass. <laughs> but no, no, seriously, there's a lot of sugar and calories in alcohol. I know I'm talking like one of those super fit people, but in a way I kind of am. But the truth is there's just too much. A lot of people wonder how I can eat cake every single Friday and still be able to keep my body the way that it is. A big reason is because I don't consume the sugar and the calories that come from alcohol and all the other other stuff. I actually eat quite healthy. But the truth is, so much weight can be weight weight gain can be attributed to alcohol. Girl, you do not know. You want that flat stomach? Stop drinking. If you want that, stop drinking. I promise you, it is. I don't know how to explain it. There's so much sugar and calories in alcohol, in the drinks that you pour. Even if you're not drinking beer, just the way that you lose all of that when you stop the alcohol easy, I promise you, it is, it is good for your skin and it is good for your body in so many ways. Number eight, I am definitely more productive. Look, my life has done a total 360 since I stopped drinking alcohol. Not only do I spend my time differently, but I actually realize how many hours in the day I actually have. 
And during the times where I would be drinking alcohol, I'm doing things that are actually moving my life forward, like making money. And that, that productivity has come back to me tenfold. There's so many things that I'm doing with the time that I could be drinking that are moving me forward. Whether it is building meaningful relationships with people or just getting good with my husband, whatever it is, there's so many good things that have come out of my life because I stopped drinking alcohol and many of them have come from the fact that I have more time to be productive. And even if I just use that time to sleep, when I am awake, my mind just works 10 times better. My body isn't working over time to get rid of the alcohol that is in my body and to replace the water and you know balance out my oxygen my body isn't worried about that stuff my body's working better and that makes me more creative and i come up with better ideas so quitting alcohol didn't just only affect my body and my skin it affected my mind number nine and this is where i get a little bit more touchy feely about this i'm proud of myself okay I don't want to cry about this, but it's something that could make me cry about this because I don't think you guys understand what I mean when I say that my life did a 360 degree turn from when I stopped drinking alcohol. There were a lot of things that were attached to the life that I lived when I drink, drank alcohol and I, I broke those chains when I stopped drinking alcohol. Honestly, I am proud of myself because all of those things that were related to what I did and who I was when I drank alcohol are gone. I am a better version of myself and I am so proud of myself. I don't even miss alcohol at all. It's, I don't want it. It's fine, I don't need to have it. You can bring me the most expensive, most smoothest, most bubbliest champagne and I still wouldn't want it because I just wouldn't want to break that. There's such a better version of myself and a better version of my life that honey, there's nothing that you could present to me that could make me want to drink alcohol. I am fine without it because I am a better version of myself without it. I am more productive. I am able to do more. I've got better ideas. My skin looks so good. I don't look like bulldog no more. My, I'm hydrated. My skin, my hair, everything is better because there's no alcohol can keep it and number 10 which is the biggest one your net worth is equal to your network right your network and your net worth like this i've got better relationships starting with the relationship with myself best relationship i've ever had with myself after drinking alcohol and it's only been getting better ever since i stopped and i have better relationship with my friends I now have friends who our relationship isn't based on getting drunk or getting tipsy or having a certain type of behavior. It's not related to that. I actually don't even go clubbing anymore. If I wanted to and not drink alcohol, I totally can. But because my definition of fun doesn't only circle around activities that happen with alcohol, I'm able to enjoy so many more things. I don't have to go out to places and drink the entire time. I don't need to have a bottle with me the entire time to enjoy myself. And because of that, I've got purer and better relationships with people who move me forward. Our conversations about how can we get better? How can we live more fuller and experience life even beyond alcohol? And some of my friends do drink, but because our relationship isn't based on alcohol, I have better relationships with people. And unfortunately, yes, I lost friends because I don't drink alcohol anymore because I am not drunk fun anymore. People who found me more fun when I was drinking alcohol, but that's fine. You need to realize that it's actually, I've, I've realized that it's actually better, the relationships that I have because I don't drink anymore. Drunk fun was great during that time and it had a time and a place in my life but I think I would not be where I am today if I still drank alcohol. So that's just me. That's just how my life has changed since I gave up alcohol. A lot has changed. 360 degree change. I don't think I'd be where I am if I didn't quit alcohol. It has done a lot for me and that's just me. We all handle our alcohol differently. We all approach it differently. But based on how I used to do it, I am really happy that I've decided to do things differently. Now you know, party life.
party life over. I still party, different type of party, not the alcohol, but it's all good. All right, so if you guys wanna know any stories, any questions, or any advice on Kapano, how would you do things if you were stuck in this situation? Then head over to my Instagram and search for at Kapano Shimange and look for this picture right here. And let me know what question, scenario you want to know about, and I will do a video about it soon, soon. Now that's it for me today. I'm Kapano Shimange, and this is how I do things. Confidence has been the cornerstone of some of my greatest moments in life. Confidence allows you to live the moment, to be the best version of yourself when you need to be that version of yourself. It brings out the superpower in you. It brings out the greatness in you. It allows you to go for the opportunity that you need to go for. Now, if you feel like you want to boost your self-confidence, then head over to kopanoshimange.com and download my new ebook on a few steps, tips, tricks, and affirmations on how you can boost your confidence today.